Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to talk about a pretty simple to understand tool. It's under the curves menu and it's called the Add Points Tool. And literally, you can see here there's no options for it, it's just Add Points Tool. That's it. If we select it, you can see if I double click on the Add Points Tool over here, the Tool Settings window opens and it says here there are no settings defined for this tool. So it's Literally, what you see is what you get. There's nothing really else to it. Pretty simple. Well, first, before we can use the Add Points tool, we need to have a curve to add points to. So let's go to the Create menu, Curve Tools, and we can use any of these tools really, but the CV Curve tool, we can go for that one. I'm just going to create a very quick and easy curve. Nothing too uh, crazy about it. So here we have a curve and we want to use the Add Points tool. So with the curve selected, we'll go to the Curves menu, Add Points tool. If I click it, you can see here what happens is it essentially goes back into the editing mode as if I were still drawing the curve in the CV Curve tool. And it will allow me to hit Delete key to delete points along the curve or left click and draw points just like I have before. And other than that, you can press the arrow keys to kind of travel down the curve, but you can't really manipulate these points. This only this tool only really messes with the points on the end. If I were to middle mouse click, for example, only that point on the very end that I last placed becomes uh, editable. So I can, though, middle mouse click and drag, and it does give me this little move tool gizmo, and I can move this point around after I've placed it, like so, and I can left click to draw another point, middle mouse click and drag and manip manipulate that point's position. But other than that, if I press up again, for example, and let's say I go all the way to this end, I can't, for example, click and drag and draw start drawing points from this end of the curve. It literally only draws points from this end. And the way that's determined, you can see here that this first point is a little square. This is considered the start of the curve. And so the Add Points tool will add points to the end of the curve, not the start. If I hit Enter right now, the curve gets finalized, it gets created the way it is. And if I do want to add points to that side of the curve, I would need to reverse the curve's direction. In order to do that, let's go to the Curves menu at the very bottom. We have Reverse Direction. If I click that, nothing really visible happens. But if I go to Control Point, Control Vertex to see the CVs, you can see here now this point over here is a little square, indicating it is now the start of the curve. So if I go back to Object Mode and again go to Curves, Add Points Tool, we're going to start adding points to this end of the curve instead of the other. So you have to reverse the curve's direction if you want to add points to what was originally the start of the curve. So you hit enter at that point. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of to tell you about this tool. There's no real options or settings to it. It just adds points to the end of the curve. Just the only thing you need to be aware of is if you look at, again at the CVs, you can tell which end of the curve is the beginning or the end of it by this little square. The little square is the beginning and the other side is the end. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.